Hello and welcome back to Anton Math. Now, in the last couple of sections we've talked about propositions and when we talked about propositions we talked about using truth tables to be able to compare two different propositions to see if those propositions are equivalent or to see what the relationship between those propositions is. Now after we talked about propositions we talked about sets and we know that we can define sets using a proposition as a certain uh, inclusion rule to a set. So Now in this video and the next video I'm going to kind of combine these um, kind of concepts and we're going to look at truth tables of sets. Okay, so I, I'm going to do just a big example and we'll, we'll talk about everything while we're doing it. Just set up my little truth table here. Now when we do a truth table in sets, what I'm basically testing is an inclusion rule. So let's say I have these three sets, R, S, and T. And I'll throw up some other sets that we might be interested in looking at, um, like S intersection T, uh, R union S, and some more complicated ones. What about uh, R union S intersection T, and R union S intersected with R union T. Now here when we're setting up this truth table, I'm going to go ahead and exhaust all my possibilities for true and false like we did before, but what I'm really looking at, if I look at the set R and I'm saying true, what I'm saying is, is that for some element X, that element is in R. So this statement R as the set on my truth table is equivalent to the proposition X is in R. And over here, you know, it's going to be X and T, X and S, etc. Over here, this would be X in S intersection T. And if I break that down into simpler propositions, that's the same thing as X in S and X in T, right? This is how we define intersection when we use propositions for the definition. So I'm going to go ahead and exhaust all my options. So I'm going to have true, false over and over again. For S, I'm going to alternate doubles, true, true, false, false. And then for T, I'm going to do four trues and then four falses. Right. Every time we add a new proposition or a new set onto our truth table, the rows of our truth table doubles because the new um, proposition has two possible values. So I'm going to need to do whatever I had with just two variables or two propositions for just the truth here and then do it again for just the false. Right. So this exhausts all my possibilities for R, S, and T. And again, the way we can think of this in terms of propositions is R being true means that I have some element X is in R R being false means that, that element X is not in R. So we can use this to see what the relationship is between these compound sets over here and whether or not an element is in just our basic set. So S intersected with T, that means it's going to be in both S and T. So this is going to be true when S and T are both true and false if either of them is false. Right, so mostly false. Now R union S is a little more generous, right? This is equivalent to the proposition X is in R or X is in S. So this means that I need R to be true or S to be true. I don't need both of them to be true. So this is only going to be false when they're both false. So I'm going to have true for these first three lines followed by a false and then another three lines of true followed by a false. Now R union S intersection T, that's going to be true when R is true or when S intersection T is true, right? We have S intersection T right here for reference. It's good to kind of build up slowly on these truth tables when we get to these compound ones. So this is going to be true for all my R's, so I know every other one's going to be true. And it's going to be true for my uh, S intersection T as well. So these first two are going to be true. 
And now I'm pretty much just looking at my R's because that's intersection T is false the rest of the time. Um, so this is going to follow with the R's now. Okay, now this last one is a little more complicated. Uh, this is R union S intersection with R union T. So this is going to be true whenever R is true, right? If R is true, then both these sides are true, so the intersection will be true. And it's going to be true when both S and T are true, right? If S is true, then this will be true, and T is true, this will be true. Now if R is false, and S or T is false, then this will be false, right? So I can go ahead and look at all my R's. All my R's are going to give me trues. That's all these alternating trues here. And I'm going to look at when both S and T are true. So that happens here in the second line. And uh, it never happens again. So everything else is going to be false. Everywhere else my R is false. And either S or T is false. So what can we learn from this truth table? Well, if we ever have two different columns that are exactly different propositions. So if they're both true, then I'm going to have um, an equivalence here in my sets. So we see here that R union S intersection T is the same thing or is equal to the set R union S intersected with R union T. And we recognize this. This is actually from our last video when we talked about the properties of the set operations. We called this our distributive law. Now I didn't offer any proof there for why this is true, but we just have. This truth table, this set truth table, is one of the most, common, uh, most commonly used methods of proof for these sets other than breaking things down into their base propositions. But that's pretty much what we've done. We broke it down to the base propositions, we made a truth table, and we were able to confirm for ourselves that this distributive law holds. Now you can actually use a truth table to um, confirm any of the laws that we talked about in the last video, and they should come out with columns that are identical under them, that they're going to be um, true or false, just based on the true or false of the base sets that they're composed of. Now we can also use these truth tables to talk about subsets as well as equivalent sets, and I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, in the next video, so we'll see you there.